this is Godzilla or Gojira, the very first Godzilla in 1954 from Japan, just after the war ended, pretty much 10 years after the war. Uh, and Godzilla, as you know, he is the embodiment, the meta metaphor of the atomic bomb. The atomic bomb creates monsters who are atomic. So uh, man creates the bomb, the atomic bomb for destruction and nature gets its revenge on mankind because man has created the atomic bomb. So Godzilla is the product of the atomic bomb. And that's why he has that atomic blast and all that stuff. So anyway, this uh, is the beginning. This is what all, st uh, all started with these craftsmanship and like... Uh, basic special effects with the suits and everything so they created all that in, in in those days and this is like the first movie in history and afterwards you know this movie inspired all the other movies that have these special effects with suits and tokusatsu and um having like actors wearing these like costume uh, costumes in like sets you know and giving the impression that it's a giant monster destroying uh like sets of toys <laughs> and stuff so yeah it's uh, just the way that it all started also the guinness world records uh, considers godzilla as the uh, longest uh, franchise in the world so there's no other movie that has been around so long i mean this one started in 1954 and it's still ongoing today with the latest movie actually came out like five years ago or something like very recently so um yeah and of course now it's like uh, a big pop culture icon and it's more like in america to be honest today than in japan although you know japan still maintains they're the creators and everything else but i just want to show you all this because you know back in the days when the war ended um actually the very first scene in the movie godzilla attacks a fishing vessel of japan and that's a reference to what happened in the bikini atoll bombing test uh, by the united states of america where a japanese fishing vessel was uh, radioactive so was irradiated by radioactivity because of the bombing uh, because of the explosions of the nuclear tests and one of the crew members died and then uh, japan signed like 30 million petitions to uh, go against uh, nuclear programs and all that stuff because you know it was like about the uh, fish might be radioactive so it's not safe for humanity and stuff so you know those were the days after the second world war when the world was crazy because um, ev everything was about uh, nuclear testing and bombings and the USA was doing all this in the deserts and the, the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. It was a totally different world, you know, like the, 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 the war ends. You have Nagasaki and Hiroshima, which were like more like with bombs of uh, not, I mean, bombs of mass destruction, but not radioactive. And then you have Godzilla coming as a movie, as a metaphor to actually state, well, watch out because uh, the atomic bomb is a monster. You know, and then you have like the 50s and the 60s and the 70s by the states doing all these like uh, tests. Uh, you have like Operation Fishbowl where they actually send bombs in the sky. Uh, why do you send atomic bombs in the sky? You know, that thing with a dome and stuff and to see how far you can reach and they explode and nothing happens. So like we're covered and stuff. You know, awesome, st awesome things. Um, but yeah, it was a different world back then. You know, people, the population was seeing this as um, the dangers and the problems of the atomic bomb. And the metaphors and of course you know if you just stick to the cinema and like cartoons and video games then it's the iconic um thing i mean it's been around for like 70 years now almost 70 years so you get the point you know a totally different world back then i hope you enjoyed the pictures these pictures and of course the 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 first and then the latest the you know the subsequent godzilla movies that you, you watch them today and you see how lame they are compared to what the americans are able to do with their uh, special effects on computers and stuff but you know back in those days people didn't know about computers and special effects this was the thing this was like the the best thing ever uh, seen for them on the screen you know in the 50s imagine uh, black and white and uh, a very primitive world so yeah that's what you get from godzilla when you see these pictures you just like go back in time and just uh, I mean, even, even for me, you know, Godzilla is just so popular. I don't even know why it's so popular, to be honest, because a monster that has been created because of radioactivity of the atomic bomb, I mean, I, one would expect to actually have this disappear across time, you know, in the 70s or 80s, but it's still powerful today because of Hollywood, Hollywood probably, pretty much. So, see you guys in the next video. And yeah, remember this thing about... Uh, the difference between atomic and nuclear radioactive bombs and which are not atomic there's a, a huge difference you know you just you can't just go with conspiracies 
like like that you know you have to be more open-minded and uh, analyze for yourself and remember the operation fishbowl and all the other operations which actually operation fishbowl and what happened in uh, the bikini atoll and in the pacific and in the deserts that's actually a different type of bomb than the bombs that you uh, that we've seen in during the war so i'll see you guys in the next video